Hey everyone, this is Anindo and today I'm gonna show you Pac-Man ROM on Samsung Galaxy Grand. This is the lock screen of the ROM along with the list of widgets which you can add. Here is the menu like Nexus 4. This is the dialer. This is the contacts. This is the notification bar along with this toggles. Here uh, you have the profile of the user, brightness toggles, settings, Wi-Fi on off, uh, mobile data, battery percentage and uh, this is very interesting thing uh, where the page you are viewing right now means the home screen, you can change the DPI using this means uh, suppose I am in messaging okay okay uh, this is the keyboard which we get in this Pac-Man ROM okay and and the thing uh, which I'm uh, saying that using this trambuchet you can configure see uh, now it's now the messaging is 240 we can change to 200 okay means you can configure every single app and you can configure the DPA of every single app using this okay and uh, and this is the pie chart pie control like this like this okay um, this is a camera interface video in video uh, we can shoot up to 1080p okay now going to the settings this is the settings options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, screen usage, pack in black this is this makes the whole UI looks full dark this pack in black in sounds we get all the all these things in display we get CIT on off or CIT in this means vertically or horizontally okay all this is in storage we get about 3.62 GB and uh, in apps by default we get about 406 MB used 3.6 GB free in themes we can download all the themes uh, with support uh, which are there in play store and uh, means themes for cyanogen mod Themes for Cyanogen mod will work perfectly on this ROM. In launcher, we get all this uh, to change home screen drawer or dog general. In hybrid properties, we can uh, choose between stock UI, phablet UI, tablet UI, all these things. In system, we get all this stuff where you can change the quick settings, notification drawer, this one, okay. In, uh, we can add power widgets as well like this one okay and uh, holo settings uh, clock widget in clock widget we can change the clock alarm and weather and location there is profile as well you can change 
between profiles and uh, location access all these things and uh, here we get the developer option as well and uh, super user performance control here you can change the um, core of the CPU okay in about phone we get the pacman statistics okay share pacman view change log status okay hardware information and it's uh, using and it's using the baseband XS AME4 in kernel 3.013 and uh, pacman rom pacman version 1.0 release build them is november 1st this is the latest build of pacman rom and one more thing which uh, which i want to show you that uh, i run and to benchmark and it gave me a score of 10717 on this rom which is pretty good for gaming okay guys uh, thanks for watching if any uh, if any questions regarding this if any questions regarding this uh, rom you can ask me down in comments and to flash this rom you need to be in 4.1.2 and 4.1 is stock touchwiz just download the zip from the given description below along with the g apps and uh, flash it via cwm after root thanks guys thanks for watching this is all in the signing out